equal sum of money were invested in scheme A and scheme B for two years. Scheme A offers simple interest and scheme B offers compound interest, compounded annually. And the rate of interest percentage per annum for both the schemes are same. The interest accrued from scheme A after two years is 1920 and from scheme B is rupees 2112. Had the rate of interest in percentage per annum of scheme A in four percentage more, what would have been the interest accrued from the scheme after two years? Okay, so understand the question first. He says equal sum of money. What does it mean? Same principal amount was given in scheme A and scheme B. So there's this scheme A and then there is scheme B. We have invested how much? P here and P here. Scheme A offers simple interest. This is simple interest case. Scheme B offers compound interest, compounded annually. And the rate of interest for both the schemes are same. Rate of interest is also same. So this gives R percentage. This also gives R percentage. The interest accrued from scheme A after two years is 1920. This means, which means this is 1920. And that from scheme B is 2112, right? 2112. So compound interest here is 2112. Had the rate of interest of scheme A been 4 percentage more, that means now there is a new case. He says in scheme A, if the rate of interest is 4 percentage more, so there is a new rate, R dash. R dash is equal to R plus 4. Then what would have been the interest accrued from that scheme after 2 years? So what would be the interest? SI dash will be equal to what? SI dash. Again, remember both the schemes uh, gave interest after 2 years. So time period is also seen. Two years and two years. Two years here and two years here again. So if you see principles are same, rate of interest is same, time period is also same. What does it mean? Of course, the interest would not be same. But the point is the variables are all same. Rate of interest, time period and principle. Obviously, the, uh, the compound interest is going to be more than the simple interest because compound interest is a compounding process you know what that means right we have discussed that in the discuss that in the video right in the simple compounders video how do you do this uh, smart method let me directly explain the smart method do not depend on any formula or anything there the simple test for two years which is equal to 1920 can be taken as 960 plus 960 why First year 960, second year 960. You know that simple interest is same every year, right? So I'm taking 1920 as yes, two halves, 960 plus 960. Compound interest for two years. Understand, because the rate of interest and the principal are same in both the schemes, if simple interest gives you uh, 960 in the first year, compound interest will be in the first year. You know that simple and compound interest are same for the first year. Value is different, but for the first it's going to be different, uh, same. So if simple interest gave 960 in the first year, compound interest will also give 960. Plus the balance. How much is the balance? 960 minus, uh, I mean, 2112 minus 960. How much is that? 1152. But now, now what is this 1152? This 1152 is interest on the, see, this is interest on principal. This is interest on principal. This is interest on principal. This is interest on principal plus interest on the previous year's interest. Are you able to follow? This is only for P. This also is only for P. Right? This also is only for P. But this is for P plus 960. This 1152 has been obtained on the previous year's principal. I mean, on the principal plus the previous year's interest. What I would do is split 1152 as 960. See, the point is, in the second year, the interest on principal will be same as the interest on principal in the first year. What is extra here is the interest on the first year's interest. So this, this can be taken as 960 plus 960 plus, uh, how much is that? 1152 minus 960. So 152 plus 40, 192. You're able to follow. So basically this 2112 has been taken as 960 plus 960 plus 192. What is this 960? Principal or uh, interest on principal. What is this 960? Interest on principal. What is this 192? Interest on the first year's interest. So I can now say that the rate of interest is 192 divided by 960 into 100, which is equal to 20 percentage. Because 
I mean, you don't have to put pen on paper for this. The point is, 192 is how, how what percentage of 960? 192 is what percentage of 960? 192 is 20% of 960. Interest that I have earned on the interest in the second year is 20 percentage, which means rate of interest is 20 percentage. You're done. Go to 20 percentage. R dash will be 24 percentage. Now, what do you do? What is he asking us to find out? What would have been the interest accrued from that scheme? Which scheme? Scheme A. He's talking about scheme A after two years. So if 20 percentage rate of interest gives you 19 to 20, 24 percentage rate of interest gives you what? But one important point that you have to be careful about is I don't have space here. What do I do? Let me let me just do that calculation here. Understand that or, or I'll I'll do it here. I'm doing the next step here, right? Understand that in the first case, when the rate was 20, rate of interest is 20. What will be the simple interest? Simple interest will be 40%. Two years, right? Two years. So 40% is equal to 1920. Which implies when the rate of interest is 24%, the simple interest will be how much? 48%. That is equal to what? This is equal to what? Cross multiplying, you will get the answer. You're able to follow. He's asking us to find out SI dash. SI dash is 48 into 1920 by 40. How much is 1920 by 40? 192 by 4. So, which is like 23. 23 into 48. Sorry, uh, 20, 192 by 4 is 46. 46 into 48. How much is 46 into 48? 47 square minus 1 square. I mean, smart way of calculating. 47 square is. Uh, you know, 50 minus 3. So 2000, what is happening here? I mean, just do this calculation. 1920, I am lost somewhere. Uh, 40 is 40% 40 is 1920. 40% is how much? Cross multiply, you get the answer. Got it? What do we get? 2304. Did you all get that? 2304. I mean, I, I think I made a mistake here. I said 192 by 4 is uh, 46. It is not 46, it is 48. Right, 192 by 4 is 48. So 48 into 48 basically, 48 square, which is 2304. That's the answer. Option four.